Hello everyone, this is uh, Shadi Reis from Sky 2024 in Long Beach. I'm really excited to be with the uh, chairs of the Fellows course. Uh, thanks for being with us. Dr. Adir Shraf, who is the current phasing out uh, chair of the Fellows course, as well as Dr. Nadia Sardin, who is becoming the new chair for the Fellows course. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having us. Yeah. So now let's talk about what happened or how much I achieved last year uh, for the Fellows course and why the Fellows, first of all, are important to Sky. Great question. So I think that what we found, the goal of this was to really be a complement to the Sky Fellows course that's in, in December, where that's kind of aimed more at fellows who are just starting their interventional fellowship. And this program is really supposed to be kind of a final or a capstone of their interventional year, like before they're in, going into practice, any last bits of anxiety or gaps in their knowledge that they want to get filled, yeah. like that's what we're trying to do. We spend a lot of time discussing like things to handle when you're in your job, yeah. the issues that are going to come up. It cannot be a perfect time that now because July 1st coming or August 1st, whatever they choose, this is kind of the last... Uh, the last rock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. It's the last sort of protected environment when they're... Yeah. They're here as fellows, and they can ask all kinds of questions. Yeah. So, so Nadia, I want to switch to you. Uh, what do you, uh, do you focus a lot of uh, clinical uh, techniques? I know they have a full course in December, but do you focus on clinical techniques or other aspects that what uh, Adir mentioned? So that's a great question, and I'm glad that I have an opportunity to explain a little bit. Um, you know, as we were just talking about with the with the two courses. So a lot of people are familiar with the fall um, the fall fellows. Um, uh, course that Sky puts yeah. on, and that is a lot of the nuts and bolts of some of the technical aspects of performing procedures. Um, and the idea of having the two courses is that, you know, by that by the time that uh, Sky rolls around, so we have the Fellows Summit, and the reason why it's called the Fellows Summit is because it's supposed to be sort of the pinnacle yeah. of their training. Um, and so actually this is much more case-based. So the, we invite the fellows that apply to submit a case, um, and then the cases are selected based off of a different, you know, different variety of different um, topic matters, and you know, the top scoring cases are actually presented here by the fellows um, as a demonstration of what they've learned and also to give them some experience in presenting um, at a conference. But yeah, it's really, um, the, two, the two courses are complementary to each other, and, and fellows can actually apply to go to both of them. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's another thing that I think the people think, oh, you know, it's either one or the other, but actually, if you Important. attend the earlier one, you get the, some of the you know, background and, and knowledge that you know, every institution has its strengths, and some you know, places don't have as much of one or another thing, so they can really get those <laughs> um, you know, techniques and, and background on them, and then you know, this, this is more case-based and professional development-based. Yeah. I'll hear back to you. Again, you're an educator. You are a program director. You've been involved with education for a while. Uh, what I, I'm uh, going back in time. I'm not sure if you had the same course opportunity when you were a fellow, but if you go back in time, what would have this course helped you achieve in your career if you go back in time and had it? Yeah, I think that's an excellent question and I don't remember them having this course back in 2004 when I finished. So I think that's kind of why we've picked the faculty that we were picking and why it's been so great to work with Nadia and Anna. And I think we've really taken an approach and even the the chairs prior to me that we really wanted to talk about a lot of the topics that we don't cover in fellowship. I think yes, we have tons of cases and tons of great presentations, but we spend a lot of time talking about you know how to get involved with Sky, what to do, how to negotiate contracts, um, how to be a better leader, how to be a better speaker, how to do better PowerPoint slides, why Sky can be your networking home, um, why it's important to network and build your build your your support network, so when you're out in practice, what do you do when there's a complicated case? Um, so we try to cover a lot of those, um, I guess, softer topics. Yes. <laughs> um, and I think from an educational standpoint, we're really trying to put ourselves in the shoes of those interventional mm -hmm. fellows. I think we all remember all the anxieties we had and the stress we had about yeah. the job. And you know, when we're you know, coding and billing, another one. We, we, it's a nightmare. You, know, you get the, you, you're an attending, and all of a sudden you're expected to know this, um, <laughs> and no one's ever taught you it. So no. I think. That those are the things that we really try to keep in mind yeah. um, when, so, we're, when we're designing the program. Yeah. Now you're going back to you, and we. So you are becoming a, the com oncoming chair now, and you're going to have a course for for the next year. Uh, what do you think? Uh, why do you think Sky is uh, putting this program together? Number one is for the upcoming. What are the challenges you think that will be encountering coming fellows that that your course in 2025 will cover? 
Um, so that's great. And actually, just before you know, we started our interview, we were just talking about you know gathering feedback from the fellows yeah. that participated in this year's course to find out you know what were the things that were helpful, what should we do more of, what should we do less of. Yeah. Um, so you know, continuing to you know evolve so that so we you are get feedback from the yeah to, to get see what's to get you know or... feedback and find out what they find helpful. Um, but ultimately, I mean, I think that you know there's going to be a new coming uh, class, and I think that Sky in general. Um, offers a lot to interventional cardiologists and I think that those fellows the fellows courses are kind of like the beginning of showing um, you know this incoming classes you know what can Sky offer to them you know yeah. this um, demonstration of uh, excellent education professional development um, networking I mean you know we were just talking a little bit about you know participating and I, I did participate in one of the fellows courses as a fellow and I um, you know, met people that I still keep in touch with, which is really fantastic. So I think that's a part I'm of it too. I'm going to close with this. Uh, I usually do it with this, uh, everybody in the interviews. Fun fact about you, and then we'll go to Nadia. Uh, fun fact about me, <laughs> just quickly, I would say that I collect antique maps. Oh. Um, and so whenever I travel anywhere, we go to, I go to antique bookstores and find antique maps from all over the world. And my house, unfortunately, is littered um, <laughs> with these maps now. And actually, I've read nice. a lot about how it is a problem for people um, who collect maps, that they keep on buying maps, and even though they have nowhere to display them, they keep buying them. And I found that I have a whole collection of maps in my basement now that I have that I have nowhere to put. So if you ever come over... Are you looking for a treasure or something? No, no, I just, I, I love looking at geography from nice. The, nice. from a different era. Yeah, we'll visit that one day. Maybe send that, you should tweet something of those yeah. uh, at some point. How about you, Nadia? That's great. I also have a love of history, and my one of my favorite things to do is actually to renovate old houses. So I actually um, enjoy oh, investing right. in real estate, and I actually have a, a real estate license. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. How about that? Maybe <laughs> How about you? <laughs> well, I mean, fun fact, I don't know, but we oh, yeah, you can have uh, uh, digital media. That's one thing. Is Fair and right. I do some DJ music. What kind of music? DJ music. DJ music. <laughs> All right. That's now why. That's why I shaved my head. <laughs> What's your name? What's your DJ name? I don't have one yet. Oh. But there was to call Shedok before. Shedok. Nice. Awesome. I don't know. Awesome. Love it. Maybe one day I would make transition and make more money <laughs> than physician. Well, thank you so much for being with us. Congratulations for a successful course yeah. and uh, fellows uh, summit. Uh, watch the videos and others on Sky TV uh, tw uh, 2024. This is Shadi Reyes from Long Beach. Thank you so much again.